Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of the Stork Delivery System, which is being made by forum user Ryo Crockite, and this is a pretty simple little parts mod that adds in something that, oh boy, I could have used on many, many missions I've done in the past. Uh, it essentially adds parts that allow you to more easily and safely deliver large and especially tall cargo to other planetary bodies. So let's just head right on into the VAB and take a look at the three parts currently in the mod pack. Now I'm hoping they add more in the future. I don't know if they will be, but for right now we have three parts all in structural. Well actually let's Grab a little command pod here, and we are going to have to raise this baby up for one of the parts. Oh boy, is it big. And yes, into the mod, or into the game rather, this mod adds in these two vertical frames, as well as a uh, stork separator, which allow you to carry large objects in line with your craft. So if we take a look at the short stork landing system here, or what is the full name? Frame Vertical Landing Stork Short. Wow, that's um, that's a creative name there. <laughs> and yes, it adds in this very, very wide and uh, quite tall, and remember, this is the short version, uh, frame here that allows you to carry cargo to whatever planetary body you are wanting to send it to. So let's just grab in that very large adapter there. And so, yeah, basically, Oh god, this thing can fit in the, oh, what is it, 3.25 diameter tanks? Oh god, I always forget exactly what the diameter of these are. But yes, the large ginormous tanks that we have fit right inside of this uh, lovely frame. And, well, it sits in line with your rocket so that, again, you can more easily deliver large cargo. Now, in the past, in missions I've done, I've either had to design my whole ship around the final stage being what I want to deliver, or have it popping off to the side and having it, you know, do doing the balancing act with the rockets that I send up. With this, I can pop it right in line and then have, say, another ship part up here that would then take away this whole delivery system while leaving behind the cargo left in this internal bit. And why it's useful isn't just because it's an inline frame, but also because it has six very, very strong landing legs so that you can land your tall, heavy, unwieldy cargo much more safely onto a planetary surface, then separate it from here, send away this frame either by some other ship or just, you know, deleting it, and then leaving your tall, precious cargo behind. And it's... It's beautiful. I really love this uh, sort of concept. of the, th There are so many different mods for putting things in line with the rest of your ship, but they all really sort of focus on cargo bays. This is more for delivering large things to other planets, and I love it. Now, uh, on the other parts, we have this size, which is the short. We then have the medium. Dear God, if he ever makes a large, and look at how tall this thing is. Holy crap. Again... Uh, this one's the medium. It goes about, oh, a little bit more than halfway, I'd say. So this is maybe, you know, 1.8 times longer than the, uh, short size. And again, it has the gigantic six-piece landing legs here that we can, uh, you know, use to land more safely on a planetary surface. And, yeah, for even larger cargo than what this thing could hold. And it's... It's pretty impressive. And the third piece is, of course, if you're going to have this in line, you need another part down here to attach to the rest of your uh, ship going downwards, your main uh, sail, thrusters, etc. And so we have the Stork Separator with a good 300 ejection force. And this just sits right down there, uh, essentially copying the top design. We've got those nice angles and a flat bit, and we see the same thing down here, even with the little notches in the side. And this will separate away, dropping away the rest of your ship that you had here, leaving 
your uh, gigantic landing frame, and whatever you build on top of that. So, let's take a look at some things I have done with it. Well, actually, first, I haven't actually tested this separator, so let's just build a crappy little rocket here real quick. Oh, boy, let's... That needs to go down a bit. There we go. I always hate when it pops like that, but granted, I could have moved the camera to make that a bit better. And uh, we're probably going to need a bigger fuel than that. Oh, what the hell? We'll use that. Excellent. And lastly, just this ginormous engine. And let's launch and test out how that separator works out for us. Because as I said, I haven't actually tested this yet. I've just been having fun playing around with the frame. So if we make sure that, yes, that is the bottom one, we can launch. And then throttle down the engine. Separate. Nice, successful, lovely separation. And I'm going to extend the legs. It does take a while to extend the legs, so I, I doubt they're going to extend fully before we hit the ground. But, uh, oh well, boom. Holy crap, we bounced. We bounced dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor whoever that was. I didn't even pay attention. But yes, that was the separator. Nice, simple, easy, etc. Uh, but let's head on uh, back into the vehicle assembly building where I have built an interesting little monstrosity and uh, thusly I have named it as that. Imagine you send one of these to another planet <laughs> and send yourself a secondary rocket ship to go with you Oh, uh, wherever you happen to be. You could just, uh, you know, plop this on the planet, then use these Separatrons to just throw away the landing frame, and then launch this large rocket. So let's put some people in. Oh, there already are. Lovely. Let's go to launch. Mm, perfect. And yes, this is just one of the things you could potentially do with one of these frames. You know, you build yourself a nice colony on, say, Duna, and then you uh, land one of these as an emergency escape ship, and all you have to do is, well, release the main ship there. And then, of course, make our way back up to this probe, where we just move away the frame. Oh, dear God, it's coming at us! And score. There we go. And then you go back to, oh, oh boy, that's actually, wow, that is sliding. Um, <laughs> okay, no, back to the ship. There we go. Now we have a lovely rocket that we can just send up away from the planet now that the landing frame uh, seems to have actually settled down. But yes, that is just one possible use. Personally, a much more a uh, likable use for me, at least, is with rovers. I like building big rovers and then sending them off to the moon and, uh, you know, other various planets. Of course, that's a point, a big point of the game. So, one of my biggest issues, as I said, is I usually build, I like, say, a large rover at the very end stage of my rocket. And I'll build something like this weird rover, but that would be the very, very top of whatever ship I send out. Uh, with this... I can have it in line, and then another part up top that could, you know, go back into orbit and ferry things back and forth, etc., if that is what you so desired. But for me, I could land it, and then, oh boy, let's see if my stages work. They do, so that this rover doesn't just drop straight down and explode. I have some lander legs. We separate. Go to the rover. There we go. Just retract all the legs with one. And then we should nice and safely land on our four wheels. And now away this rover can go. And if, say, I did think ahead and actually... Oh, boy. Oh, I meant to break. Well, we have stopped now, at least. And then, say, this top section, if it had some engines or something, could go back into orbit to go pick up something else. And that... That is how you can use these lovely, lovely delivery system. It's just, I really like this mod. It's a, just a simple three parts. But for me, with how I build ships, it's perfect. I can build colony sections or rovers, have them in line, land on a planet, send these uh, frames back up, and they could go pick up something else. It's, it's a lovely little simple mod but a fun one, and I hope you do go and check it out, and if you would like to, you can uh, take a look at the link in the description, as always, 
And, uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the episode today, and of course that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. Now I'm going to go drive around on the moon for a while. This should be interesting. Ye oh, yes, I have the brakes on. Well, I'll take care of that later, guys.